Did you know despite his star power, Dennis Edwards was hired and fired by The Temptations three times? Dennis Edwards died lonely and there were allegations he was mistreated by his wife. He was best known as the frontman of The Temptations from Motown Records. Edwards joined The Temptations in 1968, replacing David Ruffin and sang with the group from 1968 to 1989. So, if you're a Dennis Edwards and The Temptation fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. Dennis Edwards' Early Life Alike Edwards was born in Fairfield, Alabama, approximately 8 miles away from Birmingham, Alabama, which happens to be the hometown of his fellow Temptations, Paul Williams and Eddie Kendricks. He was born to Reverend and Mrs. Dennis Edwards Sr. and showcased his singing talent from a very early age, starting at just two years old, within his father's church. When Edwards was around 10 years old, the Edwards family relocated to Detroit, Michigan, where he continued his musical journey within the church led by his father, eventually assuming the role of choir director. During his teenage years, Edwards became a member of a gospel vocal ensemble known as the Mighty Clouds of Joy. Additionally, he pursued music studies at the Detroit Conservatory of Music. However, it's important to note that his home environment did not permit him to sing or listen to secular music, and his pursuit of a career in rhythm and blues music was met with disapproval from his mother. Despite these challenges, in 1961, he took the initiative to establish his own soul and jazz group, named Dennis Edwards and the Fireballs. Did Dennis Edwards serve in the military? Between January 1961 and December 1963, Edwards fulfilled his duty as a field artilleryman in the U.S. Army. During this period, he was primarily stationed in Europe. How he joined Motown Records. In 1966, Edwards sought an opportunity at Detroit's Motown Records, and he received assistance from James Jamerson during the audition process. Motown Records signed him, but initially, he was put on a retainer. Contrary to his initial plans of pursuing a solo career, Edwards was assigned to join the Contours after their lead singer, Billy Gordon, became ill. A year later, the Contours had the opportunity to open for The Temptations, and it was during this time that Temptations members Eddie Kendricks and Otis Williams took notice of Edwards and got to know him. Interestingly, at that point, The Temptations were contemplating replacing their own lead singer, David Ruffin, who happened to be a close friend of Edwards. How he joined The Temptations In 1967, Edwards made the decision to leave The Contours and went back to being on retainer at Motown. He attempted to secure a release from his contract because Holland Dozier Holland had promised to sign him to their new record label, Invictus Records. However, in late June 1968, Edwards was drafted to The Temptations. Around this time, The Temptations had just parted ways with David Ruffin, their lead singer. Ruffin had informed Edwards that he was going to be drafted as his replacement, which made Edwards more comfortable about stepping into that role. The official introduction of Edwards as the new lead singer of The Temptations took place on July 9, 1968, on stage in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. However, Ruffin, who was attempting to rejoin the group, unexpectedly stormed the stage during Edwards' lead vocal performance of Ain't Too Proud to Beg, receiving significant applause from the audience. He continued to disrupt performances for about a month. According to Edwards, the group eventually decided to temporarily let him go, promising Edwards a solo deal with Motown, and they rehired Ruffin. However, when Ruffin failed to show up for his scheduled return engagement in Gaithersburg, Maryland the following night, Edwards was permanently retained as The Temptations' lead singer. From that point on, The Temptations decided not to entertain the idea of rehiring Ruffin any further. Edwards was a notable addition to The Temptations, becoming the first singer to join the group after their classic five period. His distinct, Gospel-inspired vocals led the group through various musical phases, including the psychedelic, funk, and disco eras. What were biggest songs Dennis Edwards was the lead singer when with The Temptations? Dennis Edwards had several notable songs as the lead singer of The Temptations during his time with the group. Some of the biggest songs featuring him as the lead vocalist include 1. Cloud 9, 1968, this song marked the beginning of the psychedelic soul era for The Temptations, with Edwards' gritty vocals taking center stage. Went on to win a Grammy Award. 2. I Can't Get Next to You, 1969, a chart-topping hit that showcased Edwards' powerful and soulful singing. 
3. Ball of Confusion, That's What the World Is Today, 1970, another socially conscious hit that became one of the group's signature songs during Edward's tenure. 4. Papa Was a Rolling Stone, 1972, this epic track, with Edwards on lead vocals, is one of The Temptations' most iconic songs, earning them multiple Grammy Awards. 5. Masterpiece, 1973, the title track of their album, Masterpiece, features Edwards' emotive singing in a lush ballad. 6. Shaky Ground, 1975, a funkier tune that showcased Edwards' versatility as a vocalist. These songs are some of the highlights of Dennis Edwards' time as the lead singer of The Temptations, and they contributed significantly to the group's success during that era. Why did The Temptations fire Dennis Edwards three times? Dennis Edwards' relationship with The Temptations was marked by a series of hirings and firings, often revolving around financial disputes and the controlling nature of Otis Williams, who was the group's founder and handled its finances. However, during this time, Edwards began to miss shows and rehearsals, leading to his replacement in 1984 by Ali Ali Woodson. Did Dennis Edwards and Aretha Franklin plan to get married? In the early 1970s, Aretha Franklin and Dennis Edwards were romantically involved, and Aretha expressed her affection for Edwards through her song Daydreaming, where she praised him as a significant presence in her life. It is believed Ruth Pointer stole Dennis Edwards from Aretha and she hated her ever since. Aretha made sure Ruth S. was blocked from events that she went to. Ruth years later tried to reach out to Aretha and she wasn't having any of it. Ruth got her karma because they separated after only one year and he didn't want to raise their daughter either. She sent all her kids to live with her mom and even her grandkids ended up being raised by their mom. Who was David Edwards married to? Yvonne Gearing. During his time with The Temptations, Dennis Edwards was engaged to Yvonne Frankie Gearing, who was the lead singer of the group Quiet Elegance. Interestingly, The Temptations and Quiet Elegance even toured together, with Quiet Elegance serving as the backing group for The Temptations during some of their performances. However, their tight schedule put a retrain on their relationship and the parted ways amicably. Ruth Pointer Dennis Edwards was indeed briefly married to Ruth Pointer. They began dating in 1976 and tied the knot in Las Vegas in 1977. The couple had a daughter named Issa Pointer, who later became a member of her mother's renowned vocal group, the Pointer Sisters. Their marriage lasted for approximately one year. Brenda Edwards Dennis met Brenda in late 90s and it was love at first sight. They began dating and shortly they started living together. They were parents to four daughters and one son. Brenda stayed with the star until his last days, but there was allegation she mistreated him and even blocked family members from visiting him in a nursing home. It's a sad ending for Dennis Edwards who would have hoped to be surrounded by his loved ones but it was not the case. His six children. He is survived by five daughters, Issa Pointer, Erica, Maya, Denise and Allison, and a son, Bernard. How Dennis Edwards died. Dennis Edwards, the former lead singer of The Temptations, passed away due to complications from meningitis. His death occurred in Chicago after a prolonged illness, and he was 74 years old. Edwards made significant contributions to the world of music during his career, and his loss is felt deeply by fans and the music community. Did Dennis Edwards' wife mistreat him days to death? The circumstances surrounding Dennis Edwards' passing appear to be quite complex. While initial reports pointed to his cause of death as complications from meningitis, there were court documents alleging mistreatment before his death, and accusations were against his wife, Brenda Edwards. According to these documents, there were claims of mistreatment and attempts to suffocate him, as well as the theft of his hearing aids. An investigator had filed a protection order request on behalf of Dennis Edwards, and Brenda was supposed to appear in court to address these allegations, but Dennis passed away a day before the court hearing. The Cook County Medical Examiner's report ultimately ruled that Dennis Edwards' cause of death was, due to complications of meningitis, and found no signs of mistreatment. His Legacy Dennis Edwards made significant contributions to the group's legacy with his distinctive voice and stage presence. After leaving The Temptations, Dennis Edwards continued to with his own ensemble known as the Dennis Edwards Temptations Review. This group featured hand-picked talented singers and musicians who celebrated the music of The Temptations and paid tribute to Dennis Edwards' time with the legendary group. Following Dennis Edwards' passing in 2018, 
It's heartwarming to know that his legacy continues to live on through the efforts of the Dennis Edwards Temptations Review. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.